Let's talk about the difference between the specific and the cumulative trauma injury. When you think about a specific injury, it's pretty self-explanatory. The kind of injuries that occur uh, when a specific accident or incident occurs. Well, let's use this as an example. We'll say we have a grocery store worker who's lifting a package, right? He's lifting a package, and while lifting this package, he starts feeling pain in his shoulders right around this area right and that's uh, his shoulder pain is a direct result of lifting this probably let's say 50 pound package right? this happens very often and this is what we call a specific injury now let's talk about a cumulative trauma injury. I'm going to spend a little more time on this subject because this is something that is a little less obvious and something something that people disregard way too often. All right, let's let's see. We have I'll give you an example. Okay. Let's say we have a uh, office worker, right, who's just normally let me I don't really like this office worker here. We have, let's say we have an office worker who sits at the computer mm, eight hours a day watching a screen here, right? typing along, watching a screen here. And this office worker over the past five years starts developing pain in her neck, developing pain in her low back, and probably in her wrists as well. Right? And there, she's thinking, oh, no, this is I'm getting too old for this job. I, I can't do this anymore. That's the first thing that crosses her mind. But she doesn't stop and think about the fact that it could possibly be her job that's affecting her, her body orthopedically, her joints and her bones and her muscles. These are the types of things that occur when you have something... That's called a repetitive motion job, right? You're constantly typing or constantly doing something, and it pushes pressures. That puts pressure on your joints, your bones, and your muscles, and eventually you start becoming sore in different parts of your body. That is a cumulative trauma injury. Another less obvious type of cumulative trauma injury could be uh, hearing loss, right? Let's say you're you're working um, in a factory and Maybe you're working in a textile manufacturer along this um, this line of this row of things just coming at you. Maybe there's there's jeans that you have to fold, right? There's jeans along this this thing you have to fold here, and while you're you're working on this on this manufacturing line, let's say right next to you there's this large machine and we don't even have to talk about what kind of machine it is let's just say it's there's two large machines that are producing something and while it's working it's producing this loud noise Arr, just all day long just loud noises and eventually it starts to get to you right you're you start to feel like you're you're experiencing some hearing loss when you go home um, you tell your you tell your family I can't hear anymore. I feel like I'm, I'm growing hard of hearing. Well, sometimes you don't realize that this is a work-related injury. You're losing your hearing because of uh, of being put next to these large, loud machines all day long. Let's go back to this worker, this worker over here. While working on the computer, she may also start to experience vision loss, right? You're, you're looking at the computer all day, you're straining your eyes, and eventually you start to have a prescription and it only gets worse. Every year your prescription gets worse. Well, that's called vision loss and that's another cumulative trauma injury. There's so many types of injuries out there and we just want to make sure you understand that work causes injuries, all types of injuries. It doesn't have to be a specific lifting accident or a specific incident that causes an injury. It can be something that just develops over time. And if it's something that develops over time and it even has very little possibility that it's work-related, then it's probably work-related and you should probably, no, you should seek treatment and seek benefits from your employer.